Okay, next up we're going to install our DVD-ROM Blu-ray drive here. So we have, this is the connector from, from the uh, chassis, and it's going to slide into the only slot that it can handle, and we're going to put it in. Okay, installing the optical drive is a little bit different than most uh, chassis. Most of them you'll have the bracket, the screw connections on the sides, but because of the way the end media chassis is, what we're actually doing is screwing in from the bottom. So you see the mounts here. So we're, we're following the same procedure. We're placing the screws in first by hand, and then we're going to go in with our screwdriver and tighten things up. I will admit we did actually read the manual for this part since it was a little bit different. Okay. Okay. Next up, we're going to connect the hard drive. Now you can see here we're using a laptop size 2.5 inch hard drive. Uh, the reason we're doing this uh, is because it's what we had. <laughs> uh, but also because storage space isn't important. This is a client uh, PC, so it's not going to house very much data at all. Um, so it works for what we need. Um, but we, are, we do have to get a little bit creative when installing since uh, I didn't want to purchase an adapter for it. Um, you can use elastic bands if you have it to, uh, to use the suspension method, um, but in this case there are screw mounts uh, on the bottom here, so we're actually just going to use uh, one of those to fasten. Um, if you're going to move the computer around a lot, we don't recommend doing uh, installing a hard drive with just one screw because um, it's not very stable. Um, but since we're going to be leaving it where it is for the most part uh, it should be more than enough stability so we just put that one in there screw it in nice and tight and you can see underneath uh, it's installed nice and tight so there you go okay next step we're going to do is actually uh, install this this is actually one of the last steps we have so you see we slide it in and the holes mount in and then we just slide it to the front here. Okay. And then we take the same screws that we undid it with Place one in this corner and one in this corner. Okay. Next thing we need to do is connect the hard drive and the optical drive and then we're going to clean up the cables and then we should be done.